Hello everyone. Uh, this is a video uh, demonstrating how to perform EKL using a data file. Uh, in this case, uh, we're in Excel data sheet, um, Visual Studio, and SQL Server. The <coughs> overview of the ETL, which stands for Extract, Transform, Load, uh, is written here. So, uh, and this is really tricky in terms of how to actually extract the data. Most fundamentally, sometimes, uh, not everyone knows where the data actually is and um, unsure how to get them. And uh, <clears throat> so that can be a real uh, problem for some organizations. But for this course, as a, a demonstration, I'm going to provide that file for you so you don't have to worry about what to get them and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> you need to download uh, from the uh, Blackboard and you need to transform that data. And this too it can be very complex uh, organizationally because some uh, body or the data governance uh, may need to decide on uh, how to convert the data or uh, transform the data in, in such a way uh, to be loaded and analyzed and provide a report. Um, so we will do a very simple transformation um, <clears throat> and focus more in terms of loading the data onto the data warehousing staging area. So that's the uh, bird's eye view outline and here is a little bit more detail. I, don't, I didn't put down um, every little step uh, because it's taking a little too long and uh, it could be a little bit different for different users depending on your addition and operating system. So I give you a general, a little bit more detailed uh, steps on how to do all, all that. And then here's an assignment of what you need to turn it in. So I'm going to go through this um, uh, fairly quickly um, and uh, hopefully this will help you um, do the assignment. I'm going to move this out of the way. And so the first thing that, let me just bring it here. And, and So what I'm going to show you right now is the extract portion. Okay, so what you need to do is to uh, <coughs> prepare the um, your desktop and create these five folders. Um, it's not it's not really necessary, but I want you to get a feel for how the warehousing ETL um, works. So you'll name it as original file, prepared file folder, load file folder, and anomalies data, and then SQL script. Um, so <clears throat> go ahead and download the data file from Blackboard and put it in here. Okay, so if I open this, uh, I, I have downloaded already and I already put it in here. Okay, so that's the uh, downloading portion and then uh, or the extract portion. Um, SQL script you, you should also download it from the uh, Blackboard and I uh, downloaded it here uh, in their folder or moved it in there. And, <clears throat> and what we want to do is to uh, keep all of the original uh, file here and don't work on them. What you need to do is to move the file from here into this prepared file folder. Okay, as you can see, um, I already have um, move this here a little bit a file in there because I've been working on it. And so what you Basically, just right-click on it and copy and paste it over here. Uh, and I already pasted it in here, so I'm not going to copy and paste it again. And this is the fol uh, file in prepared a f a file folder that I'm going to work on. And so you want to open up uh, uh, Excel, all right? And <clears throat> you want to... Okay, so when you look at this uh, document, um, 
you know, there is a dollar sign and stuff like that, right? So this is a mixture of currency and, and, the, and the city or the text. So what, what I'd like you to do is to pretend that we want to convert these data types uh, to a, a simply and basically numbers and text. So you can do it however you want to do it. Um, but let's say that is the requirement. And so what I'm going to do is to uh, right-click on here and then do the format cells. And I'm going to make this a straight number, right? And they got rid of the uh, dollar sign. Do the same thing here, format the cell. Uh, do the numbers and same thing there. Do the same thing here. Uh, format cells and make it a number. And the next one uh, I want to do here and format as a text. <clears throat> and then the last one, uh, we want to do the number. Okay. Uh, so that's all you got to do, uh, and save it as a um, data file. I'm going to go back there, and I already, I didn't want to overwrite it because this is a, a the file that I started out with. You can lo uh, overwrite it because you don't really need it. If you need it. Uh, you can copy it from the original folder anyways, but I did. I just named it as a number two, um, so I'm not going to save it again, but anyway, that's what I did. Okay. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> get it out of here. I'm not going to save it since I already did, did it. And so uh, original f uh, file folder, I'm going to get rid of it. Prepared folder, this is the one that I worked on. So I'm going to copy this and paste it in the load file. I already put it in here, so I'm not going to do it again. Uh, but you know, so this is the file that we are actually going to load uh, onto a data warehousing. So we're done with the first portion of uh, uh, ETL, and you need to some, uh, upload this as part of the uh, assignment. Okay, we're not going to. Do, we don't have anything in the anom anomalies data. Uh, nothing here yet that we're going to be working on. Uh, but uh, data warehousing, uh, a IT person would typically have this kind of a, a arrangement. Okay, so uh, let me bring up the outline here. And so we did the extract and transform. Okay, now we need to load uh, that file onto um, the data warehousing. And there are several steps uh, that I want to just go over before I actually demo it. You need to set up in a database in the SQL Server uh, as a staging area, okay? And then you want to uh, use the Visual Studio uh, to actually upload the data um, using a um, what we call a SSIS <coughs> integration service. Um, and when you do that, uh, you will, um, but after we do that, and then uh, we're not really done yet, uh, we do need to convert that uh, <coughs> uh, database to an actually working table, because that's a staging table. And, and you're, you're done with that. Okay, so let me show you how to do the loading. Um, so the first thing, uh, as I said, was to start your... Um, SQL Server. <clears throat> I think the screen went blank uh, because I needed to re-log uh, in as an uh, administrator. So this one came up, and uh, I installed several um, editions of the SQL 2019. I have an Express edition here, and uh, the uh, the full edition, and I forgot what this one was. But anyway, uh, for this exercise, uh, all I need is a uh, Express. So I'm just going to have this a database engine here, as window authentication, 
and I'm going to connect. And here is the uh, SQL Server, and if I expand this database here, I already have a lot of stuff uh, that I've been working on. So I'm going to, let's see here, maybe, let me think about this real quick. So I'm going to create a database. Um, and just there are many different ways you can do it. The easiest way could be just right click on the databases here and then click on new databases. <clears throat> and then just give it a name. So maybe we can say a business data warehousing. Um, let's see. Or you can say my database okay. and just say okay and there you go right so it's really easy and if you want to uh, expand it and uh, you can see the tables here already uh, that comes with it there's nothing much there uh, but anyway so uh, my db uh, and that's all you need to do so this is the first step and let me minimize this here i need to start the uh, Visual Studio. So I'm going to start the Visual Studio here. I'll pause for a sec. So starting my Visual Studio 2019. And bring this over here. So you can uh, create a new project. I already have it up here, but I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to create a new project here. And you need to enter a uh, search for integration because we're going to use a service called Integration Service Project. So once you type that in, you, you have a couple of choices here, but pick the one that says Integration Services Project. So click that, and then click Next. And then you can give it a name if you like, um, project name. I don't know, maybe you want to do a ETL. whatever you want to give right and then check this box here for convenience and then create let's go on to the other screen there so i'm going to make it a little bit like this Hopefully that's uh, visible for you. Let me see if I can make it a little bit big, bigger. Anyway, so this is what you see. Um, and then on the left-hand side here, uh, you want to click on the data flow task. Just click on it and just drag it over here. And then you might want to give it a, a some some name uh, or the date. So. You know, I'll just click on it and uh, <clears throat> see. And then, <clears throat> see, let me see if I can go back there again. So, put it here. You can click on it, give it a name, uh, data flow task, data flow task, and then give it a, like, I don't know, 11, 23, 2021 just to kind of specify when this was created or keep track of you know you you may be creating a lot more but in, anyway so have that and just double click on it and then it'll change on the background so on this uh, sheet here basically you're trying to uh, create a flow so uh, scroll down here here this way Under the other sources, uh, let's see. here's a flat file source, so we can just create that because the uh, CSV file that we um, prepared is a flat file. 
And <coughs> um, so you want to double click on it to provide some information about that. So you can double click. And we need to cr create a connection to uh, the, uh, the file. So you can click New. And you can give it a name or accept the default or whatever. Um, and then uh, here under the file name, click on the Browse. And go out to your desktop um, and file, find that load file, file in the load file folder. You may need to change this text file to all files. And then this will come up, right? Uh, here's the desktop. Hold on a second. I need to uh, refresh, so let me just go back there and click on the browse, and then maybe go to the Windows, Users, uh, and then go to my desktop here under the load file. Uh, here's the load file, and I'm going to change this to all files, and then there's the file, right? So I'll click that and then open and um, you also need to uh, have something for this text qualifier so instead of none you need to provide a double quotation mark as a text qual qualifier because we do have text um, and then go to the columns they look okay. Um, advanced. You can change it here, but we'll just accept the default values and I'll click on OK to get out. And look at the columns here. They look okay. Uh, so click OK. And now this is the uh, data uh, source that we, we have. We also need to Oh, this is where the, uh, the file is coming uh, from, right? So now we need a destination. So you can go scroll down here under the other destinations. Uh, we create a um, database in SQL Server, right? So like here, this is the database that we created. So we're going to be connecting. This will be our destination. So let me move this out here. And under the other destination, you want to click the uh, OLEDB destination because we are using SQL Server. And just like the uh, input source, you want to double click on it and provide um, detailed information. This is uh, not available, uh, say yes. And then we need, just like the other one, we need to uh, provide a connection manager. So we don't have one. So we're going to say new. I've already created some before. so. Uh, I'm going to pretend that I'm, I don't see these things, so I'm going to say new. And here, um, we need to provide a server name. Instead of uh, clicking this, which will take a while, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my SQL Server here, and basically I just need to copy this guy, right? So I'm going to pretend that I'm going to right-click on it, connect, um, I'm not going to connect. I'm just going to copy this here. So do a, a copy. Then I'm going to cancel this and move this guy out. Come back over here and then click, right click, paste, and we're all good. And then you can test the connection by clicking here. Do a is this test connection su uh, su successful, right? So that's okay. Now we need to provide the database name. This is the SQL Server instance name. Now we need to provide the database. Uh, the database is this guy that we created, MyDB, right? So we need to come over here, do a drop down, and here, lo and behold, here's a MyDB, right? So click that, and then say OK. And then say OK one more time. And then <coughs> um, uh, click on the mapping, and See, not yet. Oh, name of the table or the view. Okay, so let me think of this. So we we'll need to provide <coughs> uh, 
<clears throat> let me back up uh, for a second. Uh, we do need to connect this first. So click on the flat file source. Uh, click on the, uh, the blue. Blue is the arrow for data flow, a uh, good data. The red is for the bad data. So we're not going to worry about that for now. So uh, click on this once, drag the blue, and put it on to the destination. Okay. And now let's double click on this and the uh, connection manager. So we're going to uh, already created this one. So I guess I'm just going to do that. Say my DB. So and then have the table view. And here uh, we don't have a anything here. So we need to create one. So click on the new. And it gives you a SQL script to um, actually uh, uh, create this table. Uh, but we do need to provide a name. So uh, let me see if I can type this here. Give me one sec. So I'm going to give it a, a little bit more meaningful name like uh, um, work underscore companies. Actually, I'm getting this from the SQL uh, script that you downloaded, actually. So if you look here, uh, this is the name that we're going to be using. So I better give that name, right? So that's why I'm changing this to work underscore companies. And then we need to enter two, three, four bracket and then give it a row number. Uh, this guy right here is the row number, right? So that's that. I'm going to keep it maybe over here. So you can see. Uh, oops. Uh, row number. number. Bracket. It's going to be an integer. And then I T. Uh, one comma one, and then a um, parentheses and a comma. Okay. Let's see if I can get some that. that looks okay, and so just click OK, and now we have this uh, table here, and then you can uh, look at the mapping here. And they all look matching OK. Uh, and then you can say OK. And now we have this without any like red flags or anything like that. So uh, we are now ready to uh, transfer the data uh, from the flat file uh, that we started out with and then into the database um, that uh, we created in the SQL Server. So all you have to do is to go, go up here and click the start button and it's going to take a minute. It is going to tell you some details on the bottom here, uh, but, but because we don't have a whole lot of uh, data, it's taking just a, a little bit. So it gives you two thumbs up, two check, check marks, and then there are 71 rows uh, of information that has been transferred. So. Uh, you know that this is accurate because if you move it, go to the load file, and if you double click on it, there is a 71 row because the top one is a um, just a header, right? So this is accurate. Um, take a screenshot of this, right? Something like. something like that, uh, and then paste that into the, um, uh, maybe uh, a little bit bigger, maybe you can do that, something like this, so it'll catch everything, or if you want to capture the uh, this part here too, um, that shows the connection manager and stuff like that, you know, that probably is the best. Anyway, so that's that, and then you can um, 
stop this. Okay. Now that we have transferred this, we can go over to uh, the SQL Server. So I bring that over here, and uh, let's verify that it actually came over. So what you want to do is to uh, right-click on MyDB and then refresh. Go to the tables, and lo and behold, there is a table right here. Okay, so um, you want to verify uh, that it actually has the data. So right-click on it. Oops. I didn't really mean to do that, but anyway, so just right-click on it here and then select 1,000 rows. And it gives you the um, the script, and then gives you the new column that we created called row number, um, and then here's the data that we uh, transfer from uh, an Excel file. Okay, so this is a, um, a we're pretty much all done. Uh, this is the uh, destination, uh, this, but th this is a staging. Uh, uh, table. We need to convert this into a work table. So what we need to do now is to uh, copy the data from here onto another one. Okay. So this is where you want to use the um, script that was provided for you. So let's make this a little bit here. Um, let me pop. Okay. Now that I've arranged uh, these guys little bit better. Uh, so what I want to do is to maybe create a new query and then copy all this stuff uh, from here onto here. Okay, and then I can get rid of this now. And so uh, I have it here and what we want to do is to uh, I think I need to update uh, this this database here called I named it as a MyDB so you'll need to change this to uh, this database here right so uh, my oops my DB and once you start typing this will come up so you can just double click on it and it'll do that right so um, if you if this happens to be at some other uh, database here and if you use select this and then execute um, this changes to that so that that's a little helpful but anyway so what we want to do is uh, we want to create a new uh, a table a work table uh, using the script right uh, we're going to call it a work companies or something so just select this and then execute gives it says uh, successfully and uh, to find out if it actually happened you can uh, right click here and uh, refresh go to the table and now you should see hmm, well there's the uh, work companies table right so hold on a second well that was a mistake because if I look at this here uh, let's see if I can do select the top. There's nothing there, right? I lost my table, so uh, I'll be back uh, to the same point in a minute. Okay, so uh, I'm back, and so uh, I'm going to now. Uh, <coughs> here, here we are. So instead of now creating this new. Uh, table with the same name uh, because this is the one that I already created. I'm going to give it a two, okay? So two here. Um, select this now. Execute. So what I did was I renamed this guy here. Um, right clicked on it. Uh, here's a rename. And I gave it a, a two here, okay. And then the script is the way it was originally um, 
it, <clears throat> as you can see from here. Okay, so this is the same script. Anyway, uh, so now let me see if I can finally copy this and execute. Now it's successfully. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to right click on it and then uh, refresh. I should see two of them, right? So <clears throat> I'm going to let's see. So this is a new one. This is the old one. And so now we need to move. from here to there, right? Um, and so I, I need to make some changes here. Um, this is basically copying uh, from the... one table into the other, right? So I'm copying it into the work companies here, so th that's okay. But this is the name that uh, it should correspond to. So I'm going to change this guy here to work company two. Okay. I think I <coughs> needed to make some changes here. There you go. Uh, it completed successfully. So let me bring this down here. So even though it has a little wriggly line, I think that's okay. Um, so this is the part there was, um, I think it was typed as a, a row. Um, but anyway, I'll post this up on the uh, uh, script. So anyway, um, I just put a my DB here and then change the uh, spelling of row from R-A-W to uh, R-O-W. Anyway, so uh, you completed OK, and now we need to verify, right? So this is the uh, this is the new one, so I'm going to collect it, uh, select this. I'm going to right-click right on it, and then select the top 1,000 rows. And there it is, right? <clears throat> so both of them now should have it, right? Let me Close this guy here. Close that. Um, so if I get rid of this, oh, if I right, right click on this one, um, I should also get the same thing. Okay. So, but this is the one that we uh, are interested. Okay. So take a screenshot of this. Um, something like. Uh, maybe not. You want to have it all the way up here so I can see. Uh, new. You know, something like this would be good because you can show me what this guy is here. Or you can show me this guy here. That there are two of these. And then this is the right one here. And then I can see the script here and the data. Okay, and I paste this into the word. So let me summarize. It's a little bit long, uh, but. Let me bring up the note. So let me go over the steps here one more time, overview here. So this is the outline of extract, transform, load. I showed you how to do the extract, uh, creating a uh, folders and how to download and move it around. Basically now to transform, uh, changing uh, from getting rid of the dollar sign and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> and um, moving into different uh, folders. Um, and then this is the one, one of the things you need to submit. And then in terms of loading, uh, we created a uh, database in SQL Server as a staging area. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it exactly the same as what I did. And then we used the Visual Studio uh, to upload uh, the data uh, and then uh, transfer to the uh, uh, SQL Server. Uh, we, we did that using the... Um, Transfer. Let me bring that diagram here. Uh, a control a data flow here. So uh, it shows you that it was successful and it is still running. Uh, so 
I can stop now. And then um, we created a working table uh, simply by copying uh, from one table to another, right? So that's pretty much it. Uh, submit those three things. Uh, the file here, and then this screenshot, and then that screenshot, okay? Uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, it's a little bit long, but um, uh, look forward. To, uh, just let me know if you have any questions, and looking forward to re receiving your work. Take care. Bye-bye.